Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Callan. Callan is from England in the UK. So let's see what Callan has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello, Callan. Hey, how are you? Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you, yourself? I'm very well, thank you very much. How are you feeling today? Yeah, not too bad. Just in for a long walk, so uh, a bit warm at the minute, but all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I went for a run this morning as well. I went for a long run this morning. It's it's still much warmer, isn't it, than, than oh. the last week? Yeah, no, definitely. Because you're running in London at the moment, aren't you? Yes, I live in London. And it's funny because um, I always, when I run, one of the things that I suffer the most is my hands because they get cold very easy. Like, it, it literally, fr it fr it's like, get frozen very easily. And um, so I always wear um, um, a gloves. And today, for the very first time, since like I've been running, it's the first time that I didn't. I felt like I, I didn't need the gloves for the very first time. <laughs> no, exactly. We, we've just been walking in the um, like in the wind and rain as well. And every time the rain came down, we were just like, "Oh, this is brilliant!" Like, <laughs> actually, cool off a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Colin. Just before we start the game, just tell me where are you from? Uh, yeah, so um, I'm from Gloucestershire um, in the UK. So at the moment in a little place called Stroud, um, which is quite a quirky, quirky little town. Always good for a visit though, if anybody is, uh, you know, looking for somewhere to go when lockdown's okay. over. So, but yeah, it's really lovely around here. Tell me something interesting about the place where you come from, the, your uh, your town. Ooh, um, I mean, it's really culturally different, I would say. Um, so there's no other place like it. It's it's really, it's, it's such a mixture of people as well and such a mixture of people's values. And it's so, you know, it's very, very conservative and very open and free and anyone can kind of just be who they want to be, which is really nice. And uh, you know, cool. everyone gets along with everyone that they meet in the streets. And, you know, it's, it's a really, really lovely place to be. It's amazing. And what do you do for a living? Uh, so I'm a digital marketer. So I work with Facebook a lot as well. Um, and do a lot of stuff with like YouTube and search engine optimization. Good, very good. And right, Callan. So, welcome to Rillion and the Match Box. So. This lovely box here, okay, full of wonderful questions. So, yep. are you ready to go on a beautiful journey for your members in life, your point of views, etc.? Yeah? Yep. Absolutely, sounds good to me. Perfect. So I'm just going to play a music now, okay, just for us to get a little bit in the mood before the first question. Ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Right, Callan, ready for the first question? Yes. Let's do it. So the first question is, um, what did you want to be growing up? Oh, growing up, I always wanted to be a dustbin man. Um, no idea why. Um, my family still tease me about it as well because it's, it's a good career for people to go into as well. But always, always had an obsession with, um, yeah, wanting to go around and taking people's bins out. No idea why. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh wow, amazing! And uh, do you have brothers, sisters as well? Yeah, yeah. So I've got um, two sisters and two brothers, um, different sides of the family. So we're all over the place, which is good. Okay, cool, cool. And, and they live as well, all of your, your uh, siblings, they live as well at the same time as you, or different um, parts of Yeah, so I've got a sister that lives in Scotland, and my other sister and my other brother and my other brother as well all live in Sirencester, which is not too far from here, it's about a 10 minute drive. Okay, not far, not far. It's nice to go see them, so yeah, not far at all. Good, let's go for the second question, let's do it. Right, next question. Okay, um, tell us about your best holidays ever and why do you consider that? Ooh, best holiday ever. I think that would probably have to be the holiday to, actually to my friend's house. Um, so I've had some fantastic ones abroad. Um, I think one of my absolute favorites was when I was working in Venice. Um, so I worked with a 
PR company. So it wasn't so much of a holiday, but it was more of like a work trip. Um, and I was doing PR and marketing for uh, a load of the carnival events for Venice Carnival. So it was going over there and attending all the masquerade balls as well, and just met so many phenomenal people and so many contacts. A lot of people which I'm actually still in contact with today. So we had like opera singers, um, like burlesque dancers, you know, fire breathers. It was, it was phenomenal to go and see. And everyone was dressed up in the fantastic costumes as well. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was worth it. It def definitely included party until the small hours of the morning as well, which is good. <laughs> you know what? You, you say about Carnaval, you know in Brazil, Carnaval is very big, it's very popular. And the, the very first time, it doesn't happen because of the, the corona epidemic happening right now. It's the, it's so weird, actually, so weird to, to see the news. Like, uh, I, I watched some Brazilian news and to see like people talking about there's no Carnaval happening in Brazil right now. It's just it's too strange, even though I'm, I'm away, even though it's stranger to know that's not happening Carnival in Brazil. It, it's weird. Yeah, weird. It's totally different world this year. It's so, so surreal and so strange, but you know, we'll, we'll get back on track and we'll get I'm back I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it will be. Right, let's get another question for you. Yeah. Right, Callan, just before the next question, tell me um, uh, what do you like the most about your job, about your career? Ooh, um... I think probably the difference that each day brings. So one day I can be, you know, working with Facebook. The next day I'm working on a totally different platform. Um, I've got a lot of freedom with what I do. So, um, you know, in terms of my campaigns and the advertising that I can do and that I want to do, it's it's pretty much, you know, I can look at the data, but if I think I've got a good idea, I can go with it and test it and try it. And you know, if it doesn't work, I can change it. So I think I really, really enjoy the fact that every day is just so different and I'm not stuck down to one avenue as well. So, and the team as well. I work with a really, really great team of people who just give me the freedom that I need to be able to do that. And it, it works so well for me. Very good. Okay, next question is, um, what was your favorite part about school? Favorite part about school? Um, I think I really, really enjoyed theatre and doing drama. Um, that was kind of my niche when I was at school. Um, and it was, I think it was something I kind of wish I could have done a little bit more as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm quite academic as it is, but um, I definitely enjoyed the freedom and the acting and actually getting into the character shoes and being able to spend time as somebody else. Um, I think it's probably something I wish I pursued a little bit more. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think that there's a lot of transferable skills that I've taken from that, that I was able to use through college and to take into my career as well. Um, so it's kind of all worked out for the best, really. So, but yeah, I would say that's probably the best part. Um, and definitely some of the friends as well that I've kept over the years. Um, so my oldest friend, we met when we were in our first year of school. Um, I hate to think how many years ago. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we're still best friends nowadays and, you know, absolutely love it to bits. So it's, yeah, been really good to keep in touch. Were you part, were you part of some um, some plays at school at the time when, when you were a child? God, yeah, we did. Um, we did Oliver Twist, Bugsy Malone, Aladdin. Um, yeah, and then uh, kind of moving into college, we did some, some much darker plays, actually, um, like Full Four. The eight psychosis was the kind of theme of the plays that we were going down, which is it's quite a dark, um, <laughs> almost mentally disturbing process to go through. But it was really interesting at the time. Um, so, like even seeing the group that did do that play, and you know the one that we were doing work wasn't quite as as intense as that one, but it was it was really interesting to see the complete flip side. So, but yeah, it's been yeah something I kind of wish I pursued again, but you know maybe in the future. Good, never know, absolutely, yes, why not? Absolutely. Another question for you, Colin. Let's do it. Yeah. How far are you from London? Oh, probably about an hour and 45 minute drive. Um, I mean, also, tra traffic depending on how many times I need to stop for a coffee. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's all depends, it's all depends. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Um, in your opinion, what is a good age to start dating and why? Ooh, um, I don't know. It's quite different depending on each different person. Um, I mean, for me personally, I'm not. I'm not really big on the on the dating scene. I'm quite happy being single and just you know happy in my own company. So that kind of suits me. Um, are you a Scorpio? Are you a Scorpio, by the way? No, I'm not Virgo. 
Okay, because I'm Scorpio. Scorpio it, it's one of the big characteristics of being Scorpio is being like uh, we're like our own company. Sometimes we private ourselves a lot. So, yeah. no, sorry, my friend, my friend has had asked me that before. They have said to me like, "Am I like Scorpio as well?" But no, I'm actually Virgo. I was um, September. So, okay. um, but yeah, no, I mean, I think probably good age to start dating. Probably about 18, 19, kind of when you've kind of maybe built up a good relationship with yourself to be able to start sharing that with others and kind of getting to know who you are but you know I think that's just me I think it's it's kind of depends on the individual person I, I, I believe I, I, try, I, I have the same as well I think for me uh, a good age is a very personal thing as long as you feel safe as long as you are safe you know about you know about yourself you're secure about yourself or yeah I think there's no like there are like a, a rule you know yeah no I think once you're happy to share it with other people then you know I think yeah, that's that personal experience. It's kind of nice. Are you enjoying the show so far? Yeah, I am. It's good, it's good to get thinking about these sorts of things that you don't normally think about in, in every day. So it's Very quite good. thought-provoking. It's nice. Very good. Let's go for another one then. Yeah. <laughs> right. Come yeah. On, let's get another question for you. Tell us about your earliest memory in life. Ooh. I'd say that would have to be a family holiday, I think. Um, we went to Weymouth. I can't remember how young I was. Um, it was, I mean, there's one really, really clear bit of going on the merry-go-round um, out by the seaside at the time and dropping an ice cream. I think that has to be probably one of my earliest memories. I didn't realize I had that actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that, yeah, I think that's yeah. it. Yeah. I haven't really thought about that in years. Like, it's <laughs> quite interesting think, to get back on it. I but, personally, um, memory, I remember my dad is a truck driver and I remember I have this, I have this vision, I have this, this uh, vision, my, my memory of uh, of him holding my hands and it was like um, early evening and I could see the sunset and there was this little lake and I just remember, I just had the scene of him uh, holding my hand and uh, going all the way to the, his truck. I don't know why, I have, I have this scene in my head. I think yeah. it was the oldest memory in my life. That's for um, sure. Yeah, that's good to have though. It's weird to think back on that. It's not, it's not normally something I think back on, but yeah, it's quite a thought for me as well. Let's go for another one. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now, before the next question, tell me um, the most challenged part of your job. Ooh, I think probably making changes along with the fast-paced environment um so you know at the moment mostly like i've said i work with facebook a lot and they've had a lot of issues with data and um you know especially this big fight that they've been having with with apple as well on data tracking so you know it's it's, it's you can go into work one day and something you've been working on the entire tool that you were using has just disappeared and you have to just be so reactive and learn on the job and learn very very quickly and i think that's kind of the element that i kind of enjoy as well is that there are challenges that are thrown in it's never just plain sailing so you can go in one day and it's just totally different and you have to be like oh brilliant let's, let's react and learn and educate and it works really well cool good next question is um what uh, again about dating <laughs> what makes you most uncomfortable about dating Ooh. i don't know i think maybe this is like a bit of a double-edged sword for me because i'm i'm quite a confident person so it's it's maybe that thought of like maybe sometimes i might be a little overbearing um which you know if if it if obviously it doesn't hit it off and it doesn't work then absolutely fine like not an issue um but i also don't want that person to kind of feel uncomfortable or you know if they're not a very confident person i'm quite confident that sometimes it might be a bit like oh it doesn't really work um <laughs> but i mean i'm quite i'm quite headstrong sometimes i'm quite independent so you know i kind of like having my own space as well sometimes so you know maybe sometimes when you're dating and someone wants to like be around you a lot sometimes it's nice just to kind of take a step back and take a breather and actually you know not worry about things as much as some people do uh -huh. so, but yeah I mean, it's, it's it's quite nice though because usually it works and it's like it works two ways which is good good very good another question for you let's do it go 
Cool, I got a question for you. Um, right, good one. If you're not yourself, would you like to be yourself? And why? I think I would. I think I quite like the person that I am. Um, I think I'm pretty confident. Um, I'm quite happy go lucky and I'm I'm not really the kind of person to worry about stuff. So if something, you know, if, if people do sit there and go, oh, okay, oh, I'm probably a bit worried about this or that. And kind of my usual response to that is, well, you know, is, is it worth worrying about? Like long term, is it going to affect you? So I do have quite a different outlook on a lot of things that some people might not necessarily think about in day to day life. And so, yeah, I think I think I would like to be me if, if I wasn't. Um, but I think in the same way, I would probably also enjoy my company as well. So that's good. I say, yeah. Um, I think I think when people enjoy, enjoy their own company, they don't need other people to, you know what I mean, to base the happiness yeah. in other people. I think it's a good point. Yeah, no, I think it's. I think everyone should kind of be happy with who they are, and you know, obviously there are sort of things that you can change and things you can't change, and it's recognizing the difference between those two, and it's how, it's kind of how people act on it. Um, but I think generally everybody should be happy with who they are because you know the, you're the only person that is there for you 100% of the time so you need to get along with yourself and you need to be happy with yourself to support yourself as well is there if you could if you could change something in yourself like something that you, you think okay I could I could improve in that what that would be in your opinion I think it would be my hair first thing in the morning <laughs> what sorry my hair first thing in the mornings why because it just grows out. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> that. Um, no, I think maybe if I have to change something about myself, I would probably give up smoking. I think that would be my, that would be my one thing I would want to change. Okay, so cool. It's not healthy, it's a bad habit. <laughs> it's okay. Next question. Let's do it. <laughs> right, next question for you. Next question is, um, What's the worst advice have you ever given? That I've ever given? Or yeah. That I've ever... Okay. Oh, no, because I think my, my worst advice and my best advice are like are the same thing. So um, the best piece of advice I've always been given was from my gran who said, if somebody hits you, hit them back twice as hard and they won't hit you again. <laughs> Which is a great piece of advice, but it's probably also a very bad one. Um, I would like to point out I'm not I'm not a fighter I'm not I'm not the kind of person to do that <laughs> but it just made me laugh and it's my favorite piece of advice um, but probably also the worst one to give because you probably shouldn't encourage that um, and I think my second worst one as well was when uh, when I turned 18 and I was going to go clubbing for the first time and my mum just looked at me and said right before you go drinking just make sure you line your stomach and then handed me a Snickers, which I was like, that's not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> We still had a great night, so it was good. <laughs> right, I have three questions left for you, okay? Yep, yep. Let's do it. Right, Carlo, next question for you is, um, describe yourself only in one positive word and a negative word. I think my positive word would be happy because I have no reason to not be happy in life. Good. Um, or oh, negative word, I would probably, I would say stubborn. I'm quite stubborn sometimes and it could be tricky to change my mind. Ooh. Sometimes being stubborn can be a positive thing as well. The pain yeah, exactly. the <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think I'm, I'm, I'm definitely one for standing my ground. Um, So if, if I do believe that I am in the right, I probably I won't, I won't back down. I'm that kind of person that will be like, I am going to stand and stick this out. Um, <laughs> but you know, sometimes it can make me come across as a bit of a bit of an art. <laughs> <laughs> right, Colin. <laughs> Two questions left. Let's yep. do it. Right. Next question is. Um, Right. My God, your question always repeat the same topics. Again, about the advice, I'm going to take another one. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Right. Um, next question is, have you ever stolen anything and how did it happen? Oh, I once walked out of shop by accident 
um, with a 16 meter long hose pipe because I forgot to put it up on the conveyor belt and I completely wasn't paying attention. And I paid for everything else and I had it in my hand. It was just down by my side and I was so tired. I was working very, very long hours at the time. <laughs> I got halfway down the street before I realized I was like, oh, <laughs> wow. So yeah, we went straight back into the shop and I was like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I need to pay for this as well. <laughs> so yeah, but that, that would have been about 30 pounds worth of wow. um, hose pipe that I would have gotten away with, but yeah, just completely didn't realise, didn't realise whatsoever and got halfway down the street and the lady at the till didn't say anything either. So I sort of oh. ran back and I was like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I've just walked out with this. And yeah, really? luckily they laughed about it as well, which is good. I'm sure, I'm sure. I think they were like, oh my God, he's an honest guy. I'm well, sure. I, yeah, it was that. I was a bit like, I don't think that can sit on my conscience. <laughs> <laughs> Callum, last question. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Right, ready for the last one? Yes. Let's do it. Last question is, um, tell me a negative thing that happened to you that came out a positive thing in the end. Ooh. Hmm. I think running myself into the ground at one point in my life. So I used to work in um, hospitality and it actually used to make me quite ill because I was working like 100 hour weeks non-stop and you know doing weekends where you'd have like two hours in between shifts as well and eventually it came to a point where it was starting to make me quite ill um so I was, I was catching colds a lot more often I was getting tonsillitis free 10 times a year so it was you know it was quite detrimental to my health um I think from that it actually became positive because then I thought about it and really reevaluated my career and where I was going with it. Um, so yeah, I decided to move away from hospitality and events. Uh, now I do some um, part-time work behind a bar just because it's something different. So my job is obviously office job, but it's nice in the evenings well, when the pubs are reopened again to actually be able to go and uh, run around and actually see people and talk to them. And I, I quite enjoy it. So I didn't want to give it up completely, but I realized that the way I was doing it was was detrimental, it wasn't good. But now I'm in a much better place for it and I'm a lot healthier and I've had my tonsils removed. So yeah, it's been good. Very good, very good. Okay, Callum, let's play now the quick thinking game, okay? So I'm yeah. going to give away some words and just tell me one thing that comes to your mind. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right, let's start with friendship. Um, one word. Pubs. <laughs> good one. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Hate. Money. Greed. Family. Love. Sex. Rock and roll. <laughs> I like that. Life. Living. Politics. Dull. Fear. Strength. Religion. Strength. Regrets. Hmm. Okay. Mindfulness. Oh, desire. Greed. A success. Happiness. How about a wish? Contentment. Okay. And uh, the last one, England. Rain. <laughs> That's funny. Lots of rain. <laughs> lots of rain, lots of rain. Right. So now let's play now, Callum and the magic box. You can ask me a question, okay? But let, okay, Callum, now you can ask me a question. Lovely. What would be the one thing that you could do more every day to make yourself happy? I'll tell you something now. I've done already over like almost 300 people worldwide and no one asked this question yet. I love the question. Uh -huh. love the question. Good. Very good, very good, Callum. Um, let me think now. You put me in the spot now, yeah? Yes, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I, I, it's funny you saying that because most of the thing that I like that I enjoy in doing it, I try to you know to do it. Um, but something that's too, um, hmm. I don't know. I wish I could dance more every single day. I dance for me, dance is like a therapy. I love dance. Yeah. I love moving myself, and I wish I could dance like more and have more time for like spend at least some time dancing on my own just to release. You know what I mean? The, the dance, everything. I think I think dancing. It's it's a it's it's such a 
a powerful, um, uh, let's say, movement or powerful action that just release all the tension in your body and everything. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, would, I could, I would be dancing more and more. And I wish I could put music as well sometime because I've got my flatmates, I've got neighbors, so I need to be careful with music. But yeah, I think if I could dance to make my moods even better than it is, yeah. I think yeah, good luck. Okay. Yeah. That's good to, good to do and good to think about as well. So I, I like I like that question. Actually, I like the question. Very good. Oh. Callum, did you have a good time? I did. Yes, it's been really yeah. good. It's good to open up the mind a little bit and uh, kind of think more about things that I wouldn't necessarily think about. So it's good. Thanks so much. Thanks for being so kind and sweet. The first time I approached you, very very nice, very approachable, and you accept my invitation. Thanks so much. No, and no, no, no. Uh, before you go, if you don't mind to share something, um, a positive quote or something that inspires you in life? Yeah, so I've actually got it here. So um, it's a book. So it's called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse by Charlie Maxey. Um, and it's about those four characters and they essentially meet on a journey. And you don't have to follow it all the way through. You can just open the pages and you'll always find something that you'll relate to. And it is a book about like kindness and love and friendship and it's a really really beautiful book if anybody kind of wants it you can get it on amazon as well um but the illustrations are stunning as well and you know so they're all well the little drawings like the mole and the box there as well um but it's really simple but my favorite quote from it actually is um so it's the mole and the boy and they're sat on the hill and they're overlooking and they say what is that over there it's the wild said the mole don't fear it that's one of my favorite bits from the entire book. Very good, very good. Cullen, it was a pleasure. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much. And have a great, a great day, okay? No, All thank the best. you very much. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.